better for working secondary students were encouraged by First Lady Sandra Granger to embrace the opportunities STEM programs present. Isaiah Braffitt brings us that report. So First Lady told the students that they are living in the fourth industrial revolution. Therefore, relevant knowledge in science, technology, engineering and mathematics, STEM, will be a vital tool in the future. Robots are going to be doing 60% of the jobs in the near future and 70% of our jobs will require knowledge of computer science. I read, I think it was a Unifem report the other day that said women's jobs, 90% of the jobs done by women will become obsolete. So particularly for the young ladies in this group, I would like to encourage you to start looking at STEM. The students were reminded by the First Lady that their future lies in their hands and they must be prepared to face challenges head on. You also have to know when something is not in your favor, to sense it and be brave enough to swim against the tide because ultimately you are your future, you make your future and the, and the bonds that you form in school and in your work environment are the ones that would help you but at the same time you have to keep learning and learning all the time. The so use of STEM programs and initiatives is rapidly increasing led by First Lady Sandra Granger through a number of robotics workshops countrywide for students. Isaiah Braffitt, InfoHub.